Police are still searching for the driver involved in a hit and run that left a toddler seriously hurt and who later died. And her name was Eleanor Campbell. WDRB's Conroy Deluce joins us live from southern Indiana where the collision happened. Conroy. Joel, we got here about 15 minutes ago to get ready and actually behind us there are police here. They just arrived a little bit ago um, and right where that police car is backing up, that's next to a pole where you can still see crime scene tape wrapped around it. And this is a Motel 6 in Jeffersonville just off I-65. People at the motel say that area where the crime scene tape is, that's where little Eleanor was badly injured in the parking lot and they heard her mother screaming for help. On Friday morning, Michael McNear stepped outside his room to smoke a cigarette, staring over the parking lot. And my window's right out, right across the street from that pole. From his room, he could see little kids playing throughout the week and says one of them was Eleanor Campbell. And they was running around right out front of the same place and then the next day, boom, gone. McNear says he had gone back inside his room before Eleanor was hit by the vehicle. Right between where the two big bushes is and then the little bush. When I hear the noise, the mama crying, I just don't, I just come in and, and, and see. Jeffersonville police say that she was taken to Norton Children's Hospital in Louisville, but died less than an hour later. Oh man, sad, sad because it's a little, well, maybe one year old. Police say the driver responsible and the vehicle are still at large, but Alvaro Sanchez is confident they'll find answers, pointing to the many cameras around the motel. Oh man, that's bad, that's sad, you know. McNear remains shaken by what happened and seeing the aftermath. It's rough. He said to get the image out. It's just known as a, as a kid that ain't going to get to live life. A life cut short at just 18 months. A Jeffersonville police detective says that they did work with Eleanor's family to identify a vehicle uh, to try and identify what vehicle was involved in this, but they haven't released a description yet at this time. And as I look behind me, the police have left. We're not sure if they were related here, related to that crash that happened just behind here, killing Eleanor Campbell. And if you have any information that may help in this investigation, there is a number right there on your screen. Live in Jeffersonville, Conroy Deluche, WDRB News.